Hello and welcome back to the channel everybody. I'm David and this is a greasy spoon and today got another good one for y'all. I'm gonna be making a cheesy chicken uh, spaghetti. Um, so I'm gonna go over that with y'all and uh, hope y'all enjoy the video. If you would please uh, go and like and subscribe and uh, Let's get started. Alright, so now for this recipe, I'm doubling what I normally cook. I plan on eating this two nights in a row. But, uh, I'll start out with some chicken. I use chicken breast. If you don't like chicken breast and you want to use thighs or any other kind of boneless um, part of the chicken, you can. But, uh, or if you want to use bone chicken, bone in, and debone it, what we're going to do is have, uh, I'm starting with about four pounds of chicken breast. I'm going to cube this up. All right, so I got that all cut up. Let me go wash my hands and I'm gonna season it up and get this cooked up. Um, so I'll be right back with you. All right, so for this recipe, I'll be using this uh, bone sucking good, it's a uh, rub. Um, I know you can't possibly get this wherever you live, but uh, any of your favorite rub will work. Have you wanna kind of throw season on it. But you can order this off the internet. Um, the ultimate season and rub. So everybody sees that. This is another one you might not be able to get where you're from. Uh, this is made in Louisiana. This is made in Mississippi. So this is just Cajun season or season all, whatever you want to call it. We're gonna go with some garlic salt. This is garlic powder. Alright, so we got that all seasoned up. What I'm gonna do grab the lid for that. Give it a good shaking that all mixed up where it's fully coated like so and uh, then I'm gonna uh, get a little bit of uh, olive oil preheated in my skillet and I'm gonna uh, be throwing this in here in just a minute. Alright so I've got my oil preheated here I'm gonna start adding in my chicken We're gonna let this uh, fully cook. And uh, while we're doing that, I'm gonna go ahead and start mixing some other stuff up. I've already cooked two pounds of uh, spaghetti noodles. Um, and they're fully cooked. So uh, I'm about to drain them off and start mixing some stuff up in a bowl. So I'll be right back with you. All right, so let's continue on with this recipe. 
I have two pounds of cooked spaghetti noodles. Um, And do two cups of chicken broth in it. Two cans of basically Rotel. This is a Walmart brand, but that's what it is. It's Rotel. That's what we're going to call it. Or diced tomatoes with chilies in it. Two cans of cream of mushroom. Two cans of cream of chicken. And then we're going to finish it off until the chicken's ready with two cans of gourmet nacho cheese sauce by Rico's. Then we're going to start mixing this all together. Alright, and I'll be right back with you when we go to add the chicken. Alright, so now that I've got this all mixed together, I'm going to add a little bit of seasoning to it. I'm going to add some more of this uh, ultimate uh, rub. The good stuff. Put it on anything. Some more garlic salt and a little bit more garlic powder. And then, what else do I want to add? 
I add a little bit of uh, smoked paprika. And some white pepper. And there's no real science to how much I'm adding here. Um, if you don't want to add one of these seasonings and change it with something else that you prefer, make it your own. And uh, it'll be good that way too. All right, so uh, the chicken's all cooked now. We're gonna go ahead and add that to our mixture. Look at all. We're gonna mix that in there. So now we're gonna start adding this to uh, pans and we're gonna put it in the oven at 350 degrees. So uh, let me get me some glass pans out and get them ready to uh, start adding All this right, to. All right, so we sprayed our uh, our Pyrex disc with some nonstick. Um, so now we're gonna start adding our spaghetti to it. All right, so now that we got that smoothed out, we're gonna take some uh, shredded cheddar and put over top of it. All right, so once you get that uh, shredded cheddar on there, you're gonna pop this in the oven until uh until the cheese is good melt it and it's kind of a little uh bubbly i'm gonna get the next dish ready and i've cooked a little bit more than expected so what i'm probably gonna do with this is put it in a ziploc bag and freeze it for a day that i have to work late so it's something easy for the wife to cook for uh the kids so this, and it will freeze pretty good in the freezer uh, before you uh, cook it like this. And then you just thaw it out and do just like I did with the first two dishes. All right, so we got these out the oven. Cheese is good and melted. They start bubbling up around the edges. Got them good and hot. So uh, we're about to dig in and I'll see y'all in the next video. So if you would, please go like and subscribe and uh, leave a comment. Tell me what you think. And uh, I'm about to go enjoy dinner.